All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for the next round, which is the black gown round. All the 12 contestants who made it to the semifinals will take the ramp one more time. And only six of them who has qualified to the finals will face the next round. So right now, let's get back all the 12 beautiful girls with brain back on stage for one more time. Okay, now you can stare at me for some time <laughs> because I have a couple of things to say. Right from 23, we came down to 12 and now only six of you are going to go to the finals. Okay, I was wondering how well these girls carry themselves right from the first round, the sari round to the red cocktail uh, gown and this black looking absolutely stunning. Physical attributes do matter, but still, the way you carry yourself, how intelligent you are, your sportiveness, how smart you are, how well you speak, everything taken to account. We have picked up six contestants, the eligible six contestants, the finalists of the 18th edition of Manapurama South India 2020. This is gonna be a beginning of your journey to the end number of dreams that you have in your mind. We are all with you. What may come, you're going to rock it, right? OK. This time, we do have uh, six contestants totally qualified for the finals. And we all might be, might have been gone through different pageants. And you know how it is the round number two was the judges pick, wherein all 12 contestants picked up their judge. They had 12 different questions for which they answered 12 different, um, they spoke out 12 different 
views of them. And now it is one single question your way. But before that, you need to know who are those six who are going to face that one question, right? So let me go ahead with my duty. You have to help me out with this. Come on, Malayalis. I need all your support. Six, Anna. So contestant number... Contestant number 17, Shweta Rao from Karnataka, our first finalist for Marapuram Miss South India 2020. Look at us, smile, man. Now let's see who the other five are. Contestant number one, Aishwarya Saju. Congratulations, Aishwarya. Our third finalist, give me a name, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Kannur. Let's all be a part. Contestant number 10, Megha Shetty from Karnataka. You all are playing a good job as judges. Yes, so um, three down, right? Three more to go. Come on, say it aloud, contestant number 15. Congratulations, Shivani, again from Karnataka. I'm getting a little nervous looking at all these wonderful girls out here. Only two are going to make it to the finals. And they are 22 contestant number Sukamya Shanka, all the way from Andhra Pradesh. Congratulations, Sukamya. Yeah, a little more drama your way. <laughs> Give me another name. This is the last time you could probably guess. Contestant number. Contestant number 23, Vidya Vijay Kumar from Kerala. For that wonderful answer she gave. And <sighs> hey, chill. I love you all. We all love you. You would want to go back, right? Yes, please. They are a little better. That's it. girls all set one question trust me one question that is gonna change your life forever this is your dream come true this may take you to high levels of your dreams one single question for which you are gonna write one answer readable probably you'll get exactly 60 seconds to write down to pen down your answers which I'll be having a copy of and I'll be reading out the, you can read out the answers, but I'll be checking whether you'll be following each and every single words what you wrote down. No cheating. So your question is listen carefully. Recently and earlier also, movies were released focusing on the life of an acid attack survivor. How much relevant are these movies in our current society? And what steps can be put forth to prevent such attacks? Shall we start the timer? Okay, so here we go. One, one, two, three, and start. We have the timer being displayed on the LED screen. They exactly have 60 seconds. Once the clock tick 10, we shall give a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Please stop. Stop, 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 stop. I wonder many of them finished way before. Sugamya, so, looking very pretty. The movies which speak about the acid attacks shows the society how a person should be educated and empower, which is very important. Clear judges, that was her answer for the question. And that brings me to Megha. Good evening, everyone. Such movies gives us hope gives us dreams and most importantly awareness it's 2020 now we need to spread love around the world 
as we are the creator of our destiny because before everything there exists humanity thank you <coughs> very nice handwriting such movies are very relevant in today's time as acid attacks are happening every other day boys need to be educated that love is mutual and consensual it is actually happening let it be men or women we need to raise voice against them with the right punishment as life is a gift and no one can take it away other than you thank you very recently a movie called chapak featuring acid attack was released but didn't make much collections men should be taught to respect women from childhood she is universe itself save her as an actor i am so proud of the actors to showcase such roles through movies people get a better view of how painful the attack is everyone should be given more education on this topic i feel so the best answers will be picked up will be judged and will be picked up by our judges and the crown is all yes you have three winners title winners and plus n number of subtitles to be given away so no worries chill and please get back relax for some time i'll get back to the results